During the course of the program, we've used the story of Memory Manor's heist to test different elements of your memory. So far, you've found out how the painting was stolen, and you know how long it was missing for. But how was it finally retrieved? Well, it's time to find out, but we're not going to tell you. We've devised a final memory challenge which will give you the chance to solve the mystery yourself. Firstly, we'll show you five short statements about the crime. If you've followed the story of the heist, you should be able to spot which ones you know to be true or false. Make a note by jotting down T or F for each one. You also need to remember the last word of each sentence. Don't be tempted to write these down, but we'll tell you what to do with them in just a minute. Let's get started. Statement one. The other two paintings stolen in the robbery have never been found. Make a note of whether that's true or false. Statement two. The thieves escaped on the safari bus. True or false? Statement three. A security guard posted in the turret of the maze spotted the thieves and ordered them to stop. True or false? Statement four. Ed Gardner rugby tackled the thief. Is that true or false? And finally, statement five. The artist that painted the stolen masterpiece is unknown. Decide whether the last statement is true or false. You've now completed the first part of the test, and in fact, only the first answer was true. But your real task is to remember the concluding words of each statement. Have a look at this selection of words. Can you identify the final word from statement one? Jot down the correct word. Now the same for statement two. Which word did it end with? On to statement three. Write down the correct word. What about the fourth statement? Again, write down the correct word. And which word did the final statement end with? Well done. You've completed the test and should be able to solve the mystery if you've selected the correct options. Well, here are the words you needed to remember. Most people are able to remember about three words, and once it gets above that, they start to struggle. And here's how the five words helped you solve the mystery. Having been missing for seven years, the painting was eventually found in West London. After constant publicity, an informant came forward. He directed the estate manager to drive to a bus stop, and there, in a plastic bag, was the painting. Apart from the loss of its frame, it was undamaged, and has now been safely restored to its rightful home. To this day, the thief is unknown, and no one has ever been prosecuted. But what does this test show us? In the true false round, you had to think, and that meant using processing power. You also had to remember the last words of each statement, so you had to think and remember at the same time. And as you probably realized, that's much harder than it sounds. Get a free trial of the world's best scientific brain games 
at www.getbraingames.com. 